When I was uh, 16, I also thought about studying astronomy, so it was always part of my life. And I think everybody should be interested in, cos uh, in astronomy because the cosmology is trying to explain where you come from and maybe where we go to. So it was always part of my life. And with, yeah, in a way, with the help of my affinity to astronomy, I developed the idea of photographing the stars at night. And, but then I suddenly, I had to realize that even though that I was um, professionally educated, even though that I was professionally equipped, I was not able to take these photographs. So that was the first time that I needed help. I needed help from a professional astronomer. I then also have to give up authorship, which was at that time very hard for me, because until then, I was the person who pulled the trigger. I finally said, okay, if it's cannot do it uh, another way, yeah, I accept it. But maybe that also then helped me to appropriate later on um, other photographic works. Nude photography is, I would say, it's, it's a big genre in the history of photography. And also wanted, I also wanted to try it. But because I'm a very shy person, I, I did not want to ask my friends uh, to undress and uh, pose. Uh, so I, I started research in the internet. And so I typed in, yeah, porn. I typed in um, fetish, things like that. And suddenly uh, those teaser pages, pages for the porn pages showed up. And I thought, wow, what's that? What's this? And then I found some images that I thought in terms of composition uh, look like a classical um, nude photographs. And also at that time I was uh, experimenting with the structure of the digital image. So I shifted image, images and increased the size of the file and this, this gives this kind of blurriness that you, well, you find in minute photographs. And then I finally thought, okay, I have to try to be as democratic as possible. So not my heterosexual view on the male uh, on the female body but it should be of course uh, there should be couples there should be homosexual lesbians all kind of fetish so I really thought I want to show all practices and desires that are out in the world right now I'm a travel into the history of photography and I find all these different kind of technologies they used early on much more interesting than straight contemporary photography. I then concentrated on these photographs that Linnaeus Tribe did in Burma and India of um, temples, pagodas, etc. We photographed uh, the negatives on a light box and the paper itself has a kind of brownish tone and if you then invert the image um, you get a positive image but also in, on the color scale the, the color inverts, the, the brownish tone turns into a kind of blue cyanotype um, color then took a second layer of uh, the image where I then adjusted back the color to the tone of the original negative and then it was just working on with these two layers uh, to get a combination of both colors that's all what I did photography also has been used as a kind of a Im imperial um, tool for 
yeah, conquering the world. And of course it started, uh, yeah, Europe <laughs> tried to conquer the world. And so it's, for me it's, an, it's, a, it's a kind of a sample how, yeah, even though it's kind of simple traveling photography, it always has this kind of military aspect this kind of control over the world and yeah I must confess that photography has been used by all different kind of interests since the very beginning of its invention to yeah let's say manipulate people